We are here to talk about another element. Number 84, polonium, a very rare and very radioactive element. You probably already know Mary Curie, a chemist and a physicist. With the help of her husband, Pierre Curie, they discover polonium. At first, they name it Radium F. And the reason they chose that name, because earlier they had discovered Radium as well, and they thought it was a variant. After Morse research, they realized that Radium F is its own element, and it needs its own name. Mary was from Poland, and that is why she chose the name of our country for this element. Obviously, in English, it's called Poland. Polish people call it Polska, but in Latin and Spanish, it's called Polonia. And that is why she chose the Latin version and named it Polonium. At the time Mary discovers this element, Poland is taken over by the Russian Empire. And to be proud of her country and raise awareness to her country, she chooses this name for the element. A lot of chemists and scientists got pissed off because she did that. And they told her she brought politics into science. And a lot of them didn't like that. But they didn't understand what Mary Curie's idea and goal was by doing this. This very radioactive element is discovered. But they don't really use it for anything. They just experiment with it. About 40 years pass and we get to the time where World War II has begun. And the United States has began the Manhattan Project. And if you would like to know, we also made a video about the Manhattan Project. And it was in this project that polonium was actually used to figure something out. And Mary Curie was not alive anymore to actually see it happen. You probably already knew this, but they didn't really understand radioactive wave and radiation during the Manhattan Project. If you ever heard the story about the demon core, they would literally mess with a demon core, which is made up of plutonium with a screwdriver. And they didn't actually know how dangerous it could get. And another thing, we made a video about the demon core as well if you would like to see it. In terms of radioactivity, plutonium and polonium are not far apart. They're extremely dangerous and deadly. And they're both being used in the Manhattan Project. 40 years before the Manhattan Project, Marie Curie and Pierre Curie knew that these elements aren't actually safe. And that is why they would actually handle it safely compared to the people in Manhattan Project. And they wouldn't stay in the same room as the element for a long time. Obviously, you can't find pure polonium in nature. It comes from uranium ore, and that's with the help of bismuth. Right now, the only country that produces polonium is Russia, which we'll talk more about. Since the Russians got familiar with this element in the 1950s, they started using it. Like one time, they used it to heat up satellites in space. Because polonium can produce heat, it also causes death. Like for example, even Marie Curie that didn't handle this element for a long period of time, got leukemia at the age of 66 and died shortly after. Irene Curie, her daughter, who was another scientist, used to handle these radioactive elements. And at the age of 58, she also got leukemia. Polonium is 25,000 times more deadly than cyanide. After the year 2006, polonium went worldwide, but not for any good reasons. In the year 2006, a Russian man by the name of Alexander Litvinenko got exposed to a little bit of polonium and went to radiation poisoning. During the Soviet Union, he was part of the KGB. Later on, he was part of the FSB, which is the KGB of Russia. And after a while, he goes to England and becomes an informant for MI6. So in other words, he becomes a spy against Russia for England. But obviously, the Russian government is very against this idea. And maybe they plan to assassinate him. They weren't gonna use a sniper. They weren't gonna arrest him and take him to court. They did the job with a little bit of polo. But I mean polonium. This is a 43-year-old healthy man. He lives in London. But all of a sudden, when he's at home on November 1st, 2006, 
he collapses. His wife gets extremely worried because she was surprised this happened and immediately takes him to the hospital. They immediately find out in the hospital that he's suffering from radiation poisoning, but they don't actually know from which element. All they know is that it's radioactive. The morning of the day he collapsed, he had met two Russian agents in the Millennium Hotel for some coffee and tea, and they predict that the Russian agents poured polonium in his tea. You could say when the doctors were confronted with Alexander, they lost all the hope they had. The second day the doctors realized that the radiation that's causing all this is polonium-210 and it's a large amount of it. And of course, they lost all the hope because there's nothing much you could do. Alexander is obviously alive, but he's suffering heavily. He immediately loses all the hair on his body and it seems like he's turning into powder. When the doctors tell him that you're suffering from polonium, he immediately says that Putin had done this. To this day, his wife, meaning Mariana Litvinenko, always says that Putin did this to her husband. But people still don't know who actually ordered the killing of Alexander. But what we know is that polonium is only made in Russia. You could look at it the other way. Maybe MI6 wanted to put the blame on the Russian government and that is why they used an element that's only made in Russia to do something. Alexander fought against this element for 22 days, but he was eventually defeated. The doctor said his immune system was extremely strong to fight this much polonium for 22 days. It's no joke, we said it earlier. Polonium is 25,000 times more toxic than cyanide, but cyanide instantly kills a person in like 5 minutes, while polonium will make you suffer to the last second. When the poison of polonium enters your body, it attacks the DNA inside your cells and starts breaking them down. And when this happens, it slowly causes organ failure throughout your body, one by one. Obviously, you can't have polonium and you can't sell it to normal people because of its high radioactivity. And only a government laboratory could have something like this. And obviously, you can't buy it. But what is it good for anyways? Only for poisoning people? Right now, polonium is only used for research in laboratories. And they're not really used in other devices. An interesting thing that polonium does is that it creates heat and scientists can use it for different experiments. And the Russians first used it in their satellites to keep components warmer, but not anymore. But the reason this element causes heat is one of the most important things that they use in the laboratory. And they're trying to figure out ways how they can use this heat to their advantage. <laughs>